Let's talk about the real cause of autism and nobody seems to be listening. This is very important for your future children and your great grandchildren and on and on. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor for going on 36 years here. Let's get the world healthy. 1,300 videos here for you to use, to get healthy with. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. Well, let's talk about the real cause of autism and nobody seems to be listening to this. And I talked about pesticides the other day causing brain damage. Well, also herbicides like Roundup or, you know, glycostates are really directly connected to this. There's no doubt about it. And uh, I've looked up hundreds and hundreds of studies showing it causes problems in the brains of, you know, the developmental problems in children. And also, by actually can cause fetal problems. So we really need to wake up. And, but there's a lot of money going on, that's for sure. I'm not saying it's not Tylenol, it might be, but uh, there's a lot of studies showing that there is a problem with what's going on with, uh, you know, glycostates, you know, the weed killers. These weed killers, they, we have ramped up the use of weed killers over the years to we're at an all time high. If anything is not organic, it is sprayed with glycostates or Roundup you know, with a huge amount of these uh, terrible weed killers. So we really need to uh, open our eyes about this. Down below, you can see all the, uh, uh, just a few of the links that I put down there so you can look them up or, you know, peruse them uh, about what, you know, glycophytes can do to the body of, and the fetus also. So this is important. Here I'm going to show you a graph showing the use of, you know, glycostates or weed killers in in that realm and the actual, you know, amount of autism going on. They match exactly. As one of my friends said, that's pretty powerful evidence right there. There's no doubt about, doubt about it in any way, shape, or form. Also, studies showing it, these weed killers could also be directly connected to cancer. And our cancer rates in the United States are four out of five people coming down with cancer. This is really not good also. So please, around your house, stop spraying with these weed killers of any kind. Uh, this is really not good. They stay in the soil for almost forever. And they actually go from one generation to another generation to another generation on down. So not only do your children get affected, but your great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren, great-great-great-grandchildren will be affected by this also. So please bring this up to, you know, your officials in your town and your state and let them know that we don't want, you know, these weed killers in our food. Absolutely, positively. And it's in just about everything. And that's another reason you need to eat totally organic. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I just have a, a man in the UK. He had a, a brain tumor and just working with him for a couple of weeks. We have actually stopped the growth and the tumor started to shrink. I am excited. There's no doubt about that. 831-869-9119. Remember God, remember I love you. And a great seer said, the greatest revelation is stillness. And I agree with that. I was just working with a lady. She has terrible migraines and it's all caused by anxiety and stress and we need to be in stillness and meditation and be out in nature and allow all that to disappear. I love you.